And we are the dreamers of dreams. Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be my first day of getting back into my routine. I have not vlogged since like the 23rd of December or something like that. It's been a nice break. I'm happy that it's the new year. I need to like reset my body mentally, physically, all of the above. I'm typically not like this. I'm like not a fan of New Year's resolutions. I usually don't really have many fitness goals for the New Year's just because I feel like I've always kind of stayed consistent, but I kind of like really fell off. I feel gross. I don't feel healthy, which I mean, I still have been trying to eat as best as I can, but you know, it was Thanksgiving and then it was Justin's birthday. And then we had like another celebration and then we went to Florida for eight days and then we came back and it was Christmas and friends came and we were with family and then there was New Year's and then my brother's birthday, Justin's friend's birthday, a lot of people like in our kind of like quarantine circle, we just kind of like drank a lot of alcohol. Alcohol. Then we went to Vermont <laughs> this past week. So I literally have drank more alcohol than any normal person should ever even drink in like a year and I did that in like a month and a half and I feel like shit about myself because of it. Like I don't even know how alcoholism runs in my family. Like I can't even get that shit because I <laughs> I can't even do a month of drinking like every other day. So I drank a lot. I ate a lot We went out a lot. There was the holidays and finally like two nights ago was like the last Birthday hurrah and I was like in bed hung over all day and I'm like this is horrible I just can't wait for the next day. So today is Sunday. I have a lot of goals for the new year I want to lose about 15 pounds I think I gained about 10 pounds in the past a month and a half because of all of the food and alcohol I've been consuming which obviously if I just stop drinking that's gonna like come right off I'm not into like the drinking thing like that really it's not who I really am I don't like it and I can't have three drinks without being hung over so today I'm gonna have a nice glute workout back on my heavy lifting game I feel like I kind of fell off of like the lifting track kind of i want to start to like lift heavy again eat more i actually just downloaded the lifesome app i feel like i might have even been under eating on some days i personally just want to track my macros for probably like a week or so and kind of like see where i'm at and then i'll probably stop but like i just need to know where i'm at so i can continue eating intuitively just because you know how I get a little obsessive with my macros not falling into that trap again i'm not gonna do that i'm also gonna go to trader joe's we're gonna do a nice haul a big stock up i have a nice dinner that i really want to try out tonight i also want to tell you guys about my new job i'll definitely get into that eventually i started working doing influencer marketing and i'm the brand manager for an online personal training company which i've actually talked about before so i'm gonna get like back on track and i'm gonna tell you guys about that because if you want an online personal trainer and a cool ass program you guys are gonna love this thing so we're gonna do that i just have some things to do around the house i also switched up my apartment a lot you guys can't really tell just because of where i'm sitting and i'm gonna do an apartment tour so yeah there's my little life update sorry if that was not interesting to you i think i did miss vlogging i almost quit youtube low-key I'm not gonna quit. I have some phone calls to make, need to call my grandma, and do some work for my job. If you're an influencer yourself and you wanna partner with us, hit me up, please DM me on Instagram. Hello, it is a little bit later. I have been out running errands. I'm about to run to Trader Joe's. I just ran to Ulta and Bath and Body Works. Ulta was having like a skincare event and I wanted to try out some new ordinary products. I picked up the hyaluronic acid. I've been struggling with crazy dryness. I typically do, but obviously it's the winter, so a lot more of that. And then the caffeine solution, which is supposed to reduce appearance of eye color, pigmentation, and puffiness. So I picked up those and some new, I've been really liking this, Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. I've been using this one, but I think it might dry me out a little, so I got the creamy formula, which is made for even the most dry and sensitive skin they said bath and body works i just got one thing my wallflower plug that i've had for probably like eight years now is totally like done now it's like just broken so i just picked up another one of those 
I'm not really trying to spend money. I feel like the past like two months I've been like pretty frugal with my money. Paying your rent fucking sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks. You gotta pick and choose what you wanna spend your money on. And yeah, living on your own is expensive as fuck. Just figured I'd show you guys that. I am back home from Trader Joe's. It's a lot later in the day. It's like four o'clock now. I am gonna get started on my glute workout, but before I do that, I got a bunch of things, so I wanted to show you. I ran to Acme too because I am making tuna tonight. If you guys didn't know, I don't know if this is at all Acme's, but where I grew up, like down by the Jersey Shore, their tuna is like sushi grade, wild caught, like top quality tuna and they sell it for $5.99 a piece. So it's an insane deal. This is a huge chunk of tuna. My mom always bought them and always made them. And obviously I didn't vlog in Trader Joe's because it was a Sunday and I'm sure you can understand why. So first thing we got, some kale. I've been eating my vegan kale Caesars every day. I just made one for lunch. Also, I've been checking my macros throughout the day. Um, because I've been tracking them and turns out I'm severely under eating so I mean that's good though I'm under eating on carbs. So I mean you don't have to tell me to eat more carbs. I can do that some eggs I've been doing my breakfast sandwich my OG breakfast sandwich frozen strawberries for my dessert at night two things of fat-free feta because I live off of this shit love it so much two vegan Caesar salad dressings another favorite obviously you guys haven't tried this try it and Justin's cousin told me that the almond butter dressing was being discontinued and I almost cried and I was like maybe that's why it hasn't been in the store for the past month so that sucks also I have been incorporating like a little bit of dairy into my diet like you guys will just see some feta cheese and then I wanted to kind of make the switch to a cheddar cheese to put on my breakfast sandwiches that is not dairy free simply because I am okay with like a tiny bit of dairy it really doesn't bother me and this is light so it's lower fat and higher protein you know what a slice of cheese in the morning is not gonna kill me and it tastes better anyway to completely contradict everything I just said I got the vegan list I mean cheese list vegan cheesecakes you know I have been seeing these in Trader Joe's for probably two, three months now, ever since they came out. And I always passed by them and I was like, no bitch, you don't need them. Don't get them, don't get them. But today I was like, no, 80, 20, 80% healthy, 20%, you know, have a little cheesecake. So yes, the calories on these are pretty large. The ingredients are horrible. The macros are horrible, but you know what? I wanted to just try them, keep them in my freezer. They're not gonna go bad or anything. So I got some sparkling water. I've been on a huge seltzer kick. I got some coconut whipped cream. Justin loves this stuff. I love this stuff. Whenever I make us dessert, we put this on it. And I also got some tofu to keep in the house. And since I was low in carbs, I was like, okay, well like what's like a good carb snack that I can have during the day. So I just grabbed some honey O's and I was starving in the car. So I had some on my way back. I also got some of my favorite sprouted sourdough bread. Love this stuff. Very comparable to Ezekiel. They didn't have any. So I just got this. I got some rolled oats just because I needed them. Some mango for the mango salsa that I'm gonna make tonight. Some almond milk, mozzarella. I love this stuff. In any kind of Italian meal that I'm cooking, it does a good enough job substituting. It's good and the macros are great. Two cucumbers, whatever. I think I might snack on one of these right now. Jasmine rice for tonight because the rice that I have is not jasmine. And jasmine rice is just, you can't compare it to rice like regular rice. It's just so much better. I ran out of my chili lime and then I got this. I think I'm gonna try and incorporate this in my recipe tonight. It's just some sweet chili sauce. That is everything that I got. I need to go put this away and I'm gonna do a nice little like workout. And then we're back in the kitchen, gonna make dinner. I'm gonna make a little dessert for the week too. I'm excited. Happy to be back. <laughs> back in the kitchen right before I worked out I went to marinate my tuna so I just have it marinating right now in the the sweet chili sauce some coconut aminos and the chili lime seasoning I also forgot I thought I had sesame seeds here but I don't have any which kind of sucks I thought they would be cute for like a garnish I'm just gonna leave that in there because the tuna will take me literally like two seconds to make I'm gonna get started on the rice you have to rinse it really good before you put it in and then I'm gonna put 
two cups of water in my pot to get that boiling. And the reason I like jasmine rice better is because it's thicker, it's like stickier. It's just overall better. And then I also have my grill pan. You guys know <laughs> this is my shit. I love this thing so much. We're gonna leave that because the tuna cooks for like seven minutes. I mean, you could cook it for longer, but personally, I like my tuna like red on the inside. So I'm gonna start making my salsa. I don't even know what I'm gonna put in it, but I just grabbed some lime juice out of the fridge, some chili lime seasoning, some sweet chili sauce. I have a tomato and some mangoes that I'm gonna cut up in smaller pieces and an avocado. We're gonna make a little bit of like a salsa guacamole type situation while I watch the rest of this episode. Oh, I love it. Do you? I love it. Salsa, I did mango, tomato, and avocado. I am just gonna mix this up. I have a lot, obviously, not gonna be eating all of this tonight. I'm going to add in, my camera just cut off, but I did a little bit of the fake cilantro, which I'm not a fan of, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna do a little bit of this sweet chili sauce, some lime juice. This will also keep the avocado fresh, which is good. And then some chili lime seasoning. This looks fucking good. Justin's hanging out with his friends tonight. He really missed out. That's all I have to say. Should I try a little bite? Oh my goodness. Girl. I'm going to add some aminos to that too. This is freaking good. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, the rice is cooking now. And I'm going to sear the tuna for like four minutes on each side. Maybe not even. And then it's done. It's honestly a really easy dinner. Seems very complicated. But as you guys saw, like the prep and everything just took me like five, ten minutes. Okay, so the tuna's been cooking for about three minutes. I'm about to take it off. We have our rice almost done. It's so easy, you guys. So this is what the tuna looks like off the grill pan. Pink on the inside, hopefully. And I'm gonna scoop the rice, actually. This is what I saw on TikTok, this little hack. You put the rice in here, so it comes out like super cute. And there you have it, the rice came out perfect. We put the mango salsa on there. I am so hype about this. This looks so freaking good. This actually might be like the most gourmet meal I've ever made. Gonna watch TV and eat this. I am caked up in lotions and oils. I just used my new skincare. That's why I'm a little bit red. It's a lot later. I just washed my hair. I feel so clean and refreshed. Also, I forgot something that came in the mail. I got these two different shelves because I want to like maximize my storage in my bathroom because honestly, I can't take it anymore. There's no bathroom storage so I got these little clear acrylic shelves I just got two of these on Amazon I think these were like $10 for both sorry you probably can't even see them <laughs> then I got this one which is actually a nail polish one but I wanted to just put all of my serums in here so I don't really know I was just trying to like play around with it but let's see I don't really know like where exactly to put these on this wall because I feel like it's just so blank. Like, I don't know if I should do a baby shelf and then this thing and then another shelf right here and kind of do like a little diagonal thing or I should do this one here and these two here. But before I post my apartment tour, just let me know what I should do. Please leave me a comment down below because I'm stuck. It's just like the walls are so big and these things are just so small. So I really don't know. I'm gonna head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was a little bit on the shorter side, but it's just getting me back into vlogging and stuff. That's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.